a collaboration between the U.S. Army Research Laboratory and the United States Marine Corps has resulted in the discovery of using waste plastics to 3D print parts soldiers may need on the battlefield. These plastics may be the next materials used in 3D printing to decrease the demand for resupplying needed parts. I've done some previous research on recycled plastics to make water filtration membranes and with the push with 3D printing and the popularity of it, I thought, well, why, not I, why don't I see if I can use these recycled plastics to make uh, filament for 3D printers? And that way, the soldiers would be able to print what they need in any location because everyone has you know, water bottles and things like that laying around they could use and make a value-added item. 3D printing, also called additive manufacturing, offers many advantages over traditional manufacturing. The, the main focus is on um, PET or polyethylene terephthalate, which is commonly used to make water and soda bottles and also things like salad containers. Um, so that's actually an engineering grade plastic. So it has very good mechanical properties and I thought it would be, it'd be a good first candidate for recycled materials. Marine Captain Anthony Molnar said water bottles and packaging are one of the most prolific wastes found on the battlefield. So the idea came up when I was at Expeditionary Warfare School. An Army captain did a project where he took MRE plastic bags and in his garage he melted them down and was able to 3D print a canteen. And he showed the cost benefit of taking MRE bags uh, and having them th printed into canteens and if the DOD adapted that, how much you could save by taking recyclable plastics and printing stuff that we use every day uh, in the service. The Army and the Marine Corps teamed up through an initiative called Innovation Challenge. The team received funding and are in the process of building a mobile recycling facility with all the equipment and tools needed to 3D print in theater. So in the summer of 2016, the Deputy Commandant for Installation and Logistics, Lieutenant General Dana, put out an innovation challenge across the Marine Corps. And he asked for ideas of how to improve logistics uh, across the Marine Corps. So he put together a brief and submitted it for the challenge and was selected as one of the winners in late 2016. Uh, from there, I was paired up with Nikki Zander at the Army Research Lab. Uh, she was already working on something similar uh, unbeknownst to myself, we were kind of had both a similar idea and through uh, DCINL we were teamed up to uh, on a joint venture to, to fulfill and kind of mature this idea and to see where we came up with. So we recently received funding to fully fund building a first prototype of the XMRF. Uh, the current plan is to get that built here at Aberdeen Research Lab, get it installed and get it functioning. From there we're going to take it to one of the two MEFs the Marine Expeditionary Forces, either at Camp Lejeune or Camp Pendleton, we will produce filament from recycled plastics that then the XFAB lab can use to print with. Dr. Zander said the research looks promising and they are anxious for fielding. Um, yeah, I, I love working on this project. I mean, not only do, you know, is what I'm doing potentially have a great impact on soldiers' lives, but it also has huge sustainability efforts. And this technology could also be transitioned to you know, developing countries, especially in remote and r r rural areas, and be able to have a great impact on their lives as well. For ARL-TV, I'm Joyce Conant.